Okay, my friends, this is going to be one of the Roger rambles. You, Roger? Rambling? Why, I scarcely believe such a thing is possible. We all know that you have the most articulate content on all of the U-tubs that doesn't simultaneously look like absolute crap and causes everyone on Earth anxiety as you stab your poor monitor with various implements. No, wait, I was thinking of Jesus. Your shit is the most meandering gibberish on the face of the planet. It's part of what makes you kind of lovable. But Christ, if he thinks he's normally not rambling, then this is going to be something. And I, you know... Case in point. I have exposed the fact that dragons were real. Absolutely zero question about it. Uh, I don't think that happened, Roger. I mean... I have seen numerous of your dragons and real videos, and every goddamn time it's just you see a thing, say it's a dragon part, or carcass, or f***ing egg, and then act like you've proven it definitively, no questions please. And well, that's not really how proving things works. You have to like, show how the thing you are looking at is what you say it is. And no, just looking at it is not nearly enough. Not even close, mate. And the history of dragons. The history of dragons, aka the history of misunderstood dinosaur bones. And just plain made up bullshit. Yes, Roger, it's quite the history, but that doesn't mean it's real. I mean, literally every religion on Earth has a history and their own historical narratives. Does that mean that every single one of them is true? No, of course not. That's mostly because none of them are true, but even if one of them were, that largely discounts all the rest. So having a history does not make something accurate. It just makes it old. You know, a bit like you, mate. When you start looking, this is the list of dragons in mythology and folklore. Yes, many, many, many cultures have stories about dragons in them. But that's not something that is impossible to explain with, but dragons, though. Like I said, it's almost guaranteed that many of them simply come from people discovering dinosaur bones in various places and thinking, holy shit, giant toothy monster. But while many folklore dragons share enough similarity to recognise them as dragons TM, they're also wildly different, and especially with how king big you think that they are it's weird that they didn't see all the same ones almost like they're based them on a fairly worldwide thing aka dino bones and then extrapolated with their own nonsense based on their own history and traditions hum de hum each one of these is a type of dragon and where it is this in the world where did this in the world yeah coherence that shit is overrated i think he's trying to say that this is a list of dragons and where they come from in mythology. But here's the thing about mythology, Roger, me old quit. Mythology is things that aren't true, things that are made up stories that contain not a shred of evidence. So when something is called a myth, that's not because it's super true, quite the opposite in fact. Maybe keep that in mind next time you decide to talk about dragons or unicorns or the fecking Loch Ness monster. Arabian dragons, Chinese, Babylonian, Indian. This goes on and on and on and on. A little bit like you, mate. But just because you say something a lot, again, doesn't make it true. Just like how there's lots of dragon myths, doesn't make those myths factual stories about facts. I mean, hell, while I'm sure that dragon stories almost certainly started with dinosaur fossils, I'm also sure that the more wild aspects of the tales are from the spreading of them across the world, as people add their own spin to that shit. Like, I bet the early stories didn't have them flying or breathing fire or any of that fanciful nonsense. But that's myths and legends for you. Time distorts them into things that make literally zero goddamn sense. Not more. And on, and every one of these was a different type of dragon, associated different type of culture, a different type of of historical background. And interestingly, all of it is complete and total horseshit. Isn't that amazing, Roger? That all these cultures, separated by time and space, could come up with their own version of a thing that is completely wrong. I love it, because you get the same argument with religious apologists. There must be something to this god thing, because look at all the cultures that came up with them. Forgetting the very obvious fact that they are all different and contradictory. You know, because smart. And, and, I mean... Ah, <sighs> oh, well, he has got us there.
Dithering, followed by a raspberry, is of course the strongest of all the evidence that he brings. Hey, I'm not even joking, his evidence is just that f***ing flimsy. At least this is, you know, sounds like something. I mean, nobody could possibly think that this was just all... True? I know, right? Only an absolute moron and his idiot fans could think that, say, even your rambling is more true and knowledge than one sentence from our college professor. Oh wait, no, one of your fans actually said that unironically. I always forget that while Roger is silly in a, aw, oh, that's so kinda cute way, his fans are silly in a, Jesus Christ, you've gotta be f***ing kidding me, kinda way. People trying to outdo each other with a type of dragon. This is insanity. Yes, it is, but not because of that. No one thinks that ancient cultures were trying to invent the best f***ing Pokemon. Who has ever said that is the reason so many cultures have them? Only an idiot, I am sure. So I'm guessing it was from one of your more sceptical audience members. But you know, they're still one of your audience members. And let me show you the dragons and then we'll go from there. Wait, 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 wait. You're actually going to show me a dragon? Okay, hold on a gosh darn rootin' tootin' highfalutin' second. You have a dragon to show us. Well now, now you have my erection. Uh, I mean, attention. Okay, both, because holy shit, if you actually show me something that is actually evidence, I'm going to be so stunned, I'll jizz my brains out. You know, I don't mean this to shock you. Well, good news. I'm not shocked at all, because that's the same thing you've been bandying about as this am really dragon body for bloody years now and it's never not been completely f***ing stupid sad face oh well what's new in the world of the half of northern africa spanning dragon is it still so f***ing big that it literally wouldn't be able to function on a planet with earth's level of gravity or is it something even dumber than that and yes yeah, spoilers if you have seen my previous video on this things are gonna get a bit different that's not my purpose here no, your purpose is to say the most ridiculous possible things about history and science and act as if it's something profound. And then my purpose is to find it extremely funny and point out how utterly insanely flawed your ideas are, to the point one has to wonder if you have thought about them for more than three seconds before deciding they are not absolutely ridiculous. What I am trying to do is to present reality in an open way that you can open your mind up and not be just laughed at. Because I've been laughed at for years and years and years and I still will be forever. Oh, that's not true. One day you'll stop making videos for whatever reason and no one will mock these things you say anymore. Not because they will realize the brilliance of your ideas and their irrefutable factual nature, but that no one will talk about you anymore at all and you will fade out of memory as some new upstart lunatic brings a different set of bullshit ideas for everyone to find hilarious for how wrong they are. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a dragon, this is his head. This is his entire body to the tip of his tail. And I'm going to tell you that it's not, because if that's a dragon, then I am the Lord of Sobriety, who's never had a drink in the ever. That's a mountain range, if I remember rightly, a geological feature of the landscape that has been there for as good as forever, at least in human terms. And of course, the weird lack of any historical point of a f***ing continent-sized dragon roaming about because, you know, it never happened. These are his legs, and they are the legs and thighs of a human. Wait, what? They are the legs and thighs of a f***ing U-man? On a dragon? What is even going on right now with this goddamn fever dream? So, not only was this thing mind-bogglingly big, like literally bigger than many countries big, but not only that, has a set of f***ing human legs, like some sort of goofy-ass chimera. And yes, Mrs. Sick, you do need to draw that. If I'm going to suffer the stupid image in my head, you need to inflict it upon the world. Right down to here. They are the thighs of a human. And guess who said that? Someone completely f***ing ludicrous? Or some oldie weldy doofus who had no idea how the everything worked? Because if those are the thighs of a who-mans, well, let's say that the whole thing was human and not just part human, which is stupid. I mean, you might as well be part dog shit. But I digress. If those are human thighs, then those thighs are about 150 miles long. Just the thighs. So if we extrapolate that to an average human's dimensions, and a thigh is approximately 20 to 25% of someone's height, then they are at least 600 
fucking miles tall, which is frankly absolutely farcically large. For so many reasons, it's difficult to know where to start, so I'll just let you pick a reason for me. Alright, this is supposedly from Apollodorus of Alexandria, a Greek scholar in 2nd century BC. Okay, and um, that's good to know, but uh, you know what? I was mocking your generally lackadaisical presentation style earlier, but you know, it actually has improved ever so slightly, but baby steps people. It is still just you filming your screen, which is to screen capture as pissing on a glass pane is to window cleaning, but it's filling the screen instead of off to one side, and everything is generally more legible, so you know what, kudos mate. Don't let anybody say that I don't give credit where credit is due. And this definitely looks ever so slightly less shite. Um, but they don't know, now it's dismissed, they can't believe it. The work is generally believed to be a 2nd century AD compilation. Well, let's talk about Apollodorus. I love that, because you know he was using a source earlier that he thought supported his position, so it was a good and fine and worth using source, and now he's found something that says, no, actually these things aren't what we thought, and Roger's like, I ain't changing my opinion for no one. So now it's dismissed out of hand because reasons. Fantastic. Okay, the dragon I was just showing you is Typhon. Correction, the mountain range you were just showing us is also known by some absolute lunatics as the Dragon Typhon in a literal way. But that's dumb, so let's call it what I believe it is which is one of the Atlas mountain ranges. Cause it's not a f***ing dragon. And this is from the Library of Apollodorus, supposedly written before the turn of the, you know, into the AD from BC. Yeah, that's what I believe the other thing is saying is now thought to be true and that it happened in the BC era. I mean, it's not like that even matters because, of course, when it was written will absolutely have a goddamn impact whatsoever on whether or not f***ing dragons exist. Although I have a sneaking suspicion that won't happen. Like, at all. It, it was somewhere, uh, 200 BC, something like that. They're really not certain. But it was, it was well recorded, no. It was around about this thing no one knows, but also it was well recorded and we totally know exactly when it was. Come on man, it's either one or the other. Either we know when something happened because it was well documented, or we don't have a good idea because its information is so very lacking. Which is it? When the gods had overcome the giants, Earth still more enraged, you just know we're going somewhere completely reasonable and sensible when a sentence begins, when the gods, you might as well start it, when the unicorns, or when the fairies, or of course, when the f***ing gigantic human-legged dragon, which honestly somehow makes the other option sound downright reasonable in comparison, I'm not gonna lie. Had intercourse with Tartarus and brought forth Typhon, that's the one I just showed you. Wait, Earth? a version of the Greek afterlife and gave birth to a f***ing massive human-legged dragon. Man, I knew Greek myth was wild, but that's just the kind of shit that you write when you get locked in the damn brewery. Still not true, but fascinating nonetheless. It was a hybrid between man and beast. In size and strength, he surpassed all the offspring of Earth. Well, it would. So far, in fact, that it would crumble under its own enormous weight, effectively crushing itself to death. To be completely honest, though, it's how I want to go out. All I need now is all the donuts and the rest of the whiskey, and I'll make a solid go of it. As far as the thighs go, remember I was real specific about the thighs? Alright, easy tiger, calm down. I know you're really into jumbo thighs. Is this you just communicating your admiration for those of the thick persuasion, without outright stating it? I mean, it's an interesting dating strategy, but I'm not sure how it's going to work out for you, mate. He was of human shape, his thighs were human, and of such prodigious bulk he outtopped all the mountains and his head often brushed the stars. Well there it is. What makes this so utterly ludicrous and why I had to do some filthy, disgusting, degenerate maths in order to figure out how f***ing tall a man with thighs like those would be. And yeah, again, it's 600 miles tall at least. Not only would that be bigger than any mountain on earth, it would be taller than many of them stacked on top of each other. And that hair brushing the stars thing? Well that's a stupid thing to say for multiple reasons. One, 
No, of course they wouldn't. The stars are many millions of miles away. Even at that size, he wouldn't even get close to the sun. However, the opposite is also why this is ridiculous, because at 600 miles tall, he would surpass the distance needed to be considered in space by about tenfold, meaning that he would asphyxiate immediately unless he spent all of his time laid f***ing flat against the ground. You know what, when you put it like that, it almost sounds ridiculous. But what do they say? Yeah, well, you could prove anything with facts. One of his hands reached out to the west and the other to the east. From them projected a hundred dragon's heads. That sounds awesome, but it's weird that this isn't something that is spoken about a lot more. That this 600 mile man, who would have been very visible from a lot of places, since he apparently hangs around at the top of Africa, I can only assume he would have been visible from parts of Europe, which follows since the guy talking about him was apparently Greek or something, but all the other people in the old Yerp just happened to all be looking the other way that day, I guess. Never found those. They never found the hundreds of dragon heads? Say it ain't so, Roger. I can't believe that this huge event was not only witnessed by, like, one guy, apparently, but also left no evidence behind when it absolutely should have. Oh man, it's almost like it didn't f***ing happen. From the thighs downward, the, he had huge coils of vipers, which, when drawn out, reached to his very head and emitted a loud hissing. Oh, now he has f***ing snake hair, does he? Roger, mate, I know, I know you believe some wacky crap about giant dragons and rocks being feet and all that crap, but do come on. Seriously, come the f*** on. This is clearly a work of fantasy, a story written by an apparently very bored person and not a factual account of f***ing anything. They were all over himself. His body was all winged, and you could see all the wings all over. Unkempt hair streamed on the wind from his head and cheeks. Fire flashed from his eyes. You can come up and read this, but let me show you all those things. It's, it's exactly correct. If you show me the not a fucking dragon again, I swear to God, Roger. All right, I know this sounds really silly. Sounds really silly, does it, Roger? No, actually it doesn't. It sounds King idiotic that you, a grown man, genuinely believe any of this shit. That is so utterly absurd it beggars belief. The only silly thing about this interaction is I somehow seem to think that you would not keep getting more and more ridiculous as you fall down this rabbit hole of dumb. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-